Turns out my calling in life is to be a meme. I'm a meme. I'm a meme. Mom, your boy's a meme. I'm a meme. Meme life. Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the weekends with Lucas. Welcome back. Honestly, who knew that making Fred half a century ago would lead to such glamour? Sometimes when I go in public, people just yell, Fred! And look at me. And when I look at them, they walk away. Sometimes it feels like I'm getting bullied. It's okay. Fred has been dead for who knows how long. But the boy, he lives on in the form of Twitter memes that ruin my life. <laughs> I'm okay. It's fine. I'm gonna shave my head. <laughs> Every couple of months, it's like my own personal herpes outbreak. A Fred meme will occur. A Fred meme will be born. Fred memes come in many forms. They're super wholesome ones, like this one. Fred the movie quotes, Fred's dad, I should have ejaculated in your mother's anus instead the night you were conceived. Wholesome. Or this one. Remember Fred from YouTube? This is him now. Feel old yet? Wait, what if this is a conspiracy and Logan Paul actually did used to be Fred? And the government brainwashed me to think I used to be Fred, but really it was Logan Paul. And I'm just a clone. Is this the second coming of the Avril Lavigne clone theory? Am I a clone? Fuck. I'm a clone! Sometimes a Fred meme can be real simple. Who remembers how annoying this guy was? And then it just shows a photo of me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm laughing or crying. I've clicked on one of those memes and it can get dark. My personal favorite Fred meme is the one that compares Fred and John Cena's relationship to a gay porn. I love this one. The gay porn John Cena Fred meme has a special place in my heart. I have dreams about that meme, like a lot. <laughs> A new Fred meme was born this week. It was conceived. It came out of the womb. And it's all because I innocently tweeted this. Photos of my beautiful makeup with the caption, when your sugar daddy is late picking you up again. Don't you hate when that happens though? Like it's annoying. Everyone can relate. I posted these photos because I did the recreating Manny Mua's makeup tutorial video. The tweet sort of just sat there normally for like a month. Just another stupid thing I tweeted. Like it, nothing happened. It was just like normal. People who follow me were like, wow, you look hot. Play, you're good that makeup. But then this week, some guy saw that tweet and decided to do this. Fred, what the hell have you been up to, big dog? LMAO, question mark, question mark, question mark. And 85,000 people retweeted it. That's a lot of people. I'm gonna drop out of college. Oh wait, I never went. Maybe I should go. To college. I thought this tweet was funny. Like it's just, it's so funny to like realize that so many people just view me as the character Fred and I totally get it. Like I'm the same way. If I see Raven Simone, I'm, she's a psychic. Like in real life, she's a psychic. And now they're seeing me like this. Like I, I get how that can be a bit shocking with a caption about sugar daddies. They're like, is he kidding? Does he actually have a sugar daddy? We aren't sure. And I love it. I always know when a Fred meme is being conceived because I start getting a lot of tweets of the exact same thing. I don't get it. Like, I guess these bitches see one guy get retweets and like they just try to recreate the same thing. I, I'm confused. I don't get it. People are just straight up copying that guy. Like, listen, at fuck you, ba already did it. But not everyone just straight up copied fuck you, ba. A lot of people reply and they had a lot to say. <laughs> R.I.P. My childhood. Bitch, I didn't ruin your childhood. Your shitty parents ruined your childhood. I might have helped. Also, if seeing Fred in makeup ruins your childhood, I'm about to do a porn. That'll ruin your childhood, bitch. I'll wear that Fred outfit and I'll find myself a John Cena lookalike and I'll make myself a porn. Don't try me. You want to ruin childhood? Wait, is ruining childhoods my brand? Is this Fred for? <laughs> Honestly though, I'm about to hit up Nickelodeon and ask if they want to do Fred 4 Makeup School. Fred 4, the movie. Sugar Daddy Vacation. Like, oh my god. There are so many ways to go with this. Wait a sec, is he holding a giant rabbit in his photo? No, that's a dog. I'm gonna pretend it's a giant rabbit because that looks like a giant rabbit. I always knew Judy was just a cover up and he preferred Kevin. I mean, he's not wrong. He's not incorrect. Kevin? <laughs> was fine. Fine. 
I remember we'd film scenes where like he would be bullying me and I was like kind of here for it. Kevin, stop! He'd like have me in a chokehold and I'd be like, why do I enjoy this? Wow. Then again, that's me, Lucas. Like Fred, the character, he was in to Judy. He was straight, right? I mean, I honestly don't know. Fred, he didn't seem straight, but he, he was into Judy. Maybe he liked Judy so much because he wanted to be Judy. If I do another Fred movie, should it have a Caitlyn Jenner twist? Admit it. We all saw this coming. You saw it coming that I'd have shitty makeup on and a sugar daddy who's late to pick me up? You're a psychic. And also, I don't blame you. And then someone replied, he came out like six years ago, so... And then someone else said, that's why he saw it coming. Okay, okay. I remember even when I came out, people commented and they were like, we knew since the beginning. And I was like, really? No shit. I tap danced my whole childhood. I sang Jesse McCartney at a talent show. My voice sounds like this. Like, you're not a psychic. When I came out of my mom's vaheen, the doctor was like, he's gay. They knew right away. Someone replied with a gif of them unfollowing me. Someone replied saying L for following to begin with. Then the guy who unfollowed me said, what the frick is L? And then someone else just wrote L. Someone tweeted me a gif of John Cena pushing me over. And someone replied, I just want to know how he pushed him onto his stomach and he landed on his back. You just blew my mind. Honestly, I'm perplexed. Is this a Mandela effect? They're completely right. Like he pushed me onto my stomach, but then I'm on my back. Like did Nickelodeon make me shape shift? Was there some dark magic involved? Something to think about. It's satanic. Also side note, when John Cena hit me in those scenes, it motherfucking hurt. So good. That's gross. <gasps> wow, Katy Perry is making a comeback. Why did so many people think I looked like Katy Perry? <laughs> <sighs> oh. That word I can't say right there got the big gay. And in the middle of the photo, there's an at sign, non-homo. They had to make their at sign that because they just want people to know like, I'm not gay. I don't like dick. I'm just gonna put that in my at sign so you know. The same person who tweeted me that lovely photo also tweeted earlier, just on their timeline, you could die, suck a sick dick. Word I can't say. They're tweeting about sucking dick. It's always the people who really want to prove they're not gay who like talk about being gay the most. Like, don't hit on me, I'm not gay. And you're just like, I wouldn't hit on you even if you were gay, you know what I mean? You're ugly. Damn, Katy Perry is popping off lately. <laughs> No! No! Someone put my makeup face on Katy Perry's Bone Appetit album art. Lucas, honey, are you okay? This is my favorite variation of any of the replies I got. Some people were genuinely concerned for my well-being. Like, this is my breakdown moment, bitch. I honestly should be milking this. People think I've gone crazy. I'm gonna go crazy. Honestly, I should put in my calendar to schedule a breakdown. I'm overdue. The genuine concerned tweets were so cute to me because like I said earlier these people probably haven't seen me for like eight years last time they saw me I was on Nickelodeon and now they're seeing this photo and I'm talking about having a sugar daddy like they have a right to be concerned they haven't been following me so like they don't realize it's from a video and I don't have a sugar daddy and they're worried and it just really warmed my heart people were like honestly all jokes aside like are you okay oh honey you just got straight up gang banged by your makeup. Classic. Gang bang. I love a good gang bang tweet. Gang bang. Spread the movie. Gang bang edition. <laughs> no. No. Huh, well there's that. I just really needed to go through all of the responses, the replies. I needed to promote Fred for Gang Bang Sugar Daddy Beauty School, the musical, coming soon to Hulu. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you aren't. I'm gonna go, because my sugar daddy is here and I don't think he's gonna be late today. Gotta go put my full face of makeup on. Also, before I leave, I have a podcast. I just started it. There's like two episodes up. Links below. Check it out.